Hey everyone. Right now I'm uh, digging for gargoyle eggs. I figure I'd show you guys some of the gargoyle geckos I work with. So just finished digging through this enclosure, took everything out, dug through the substrate. Um, and we did find four eggs. So there's two females in here. I try to dig for eggs every five to six weeks. Um, that's usually when they drop another clutch is every five to six weeks, uh, sometimes eight, but we got lucky this time. Um, and then I went ahead and I cleaned everything. Usually when I dig for eggs, it's your opportunity for me to clean the ledges, clean the glass, make sure everything is nice and spotless. Um, since we uh, finished digging, we collected some eggs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put them back and that way you guys can see them. So the first one I have here. Nope. Come here, buddy. And this is the male to the group. So this is a really uh, high red. Uh, of course, he jumped to the back. But right now he's fired up, down, uh, fired up. He is solid neon red. Uh, he is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of my favorite gargoyles. Uh, this particular group, I've been breeding for, it's got to be five or six years now. And they still produce every season. Uh, up next, we're going to go with uh, who I feel is a cooler female. So this is the one female in here. Uh, very nice colors, uh, not completely fired up. One of the coolest things about her, if she'll hold still, oh, she actually has a little split tail. Uh, her tail probably was pinched or nipped. And uh, a second tail started to grow on the tip. Uh, I know it's a little hard to see, but of course I disturbed these guys, taking them out of here, so now they're all jumpy. And don't want to sit still. Usually when I first find them, they're a lot calmer. But since I already disturbed them, took them out of their home, whatnot, they're all super jumpy and super nervous. But uh, these guys never bite me. Uh, usually they're a lot calmer than crested geckos. But they can get a little nervous. Uh, especially with these breeder groups, I don't handle them too often, so... Once again, I'm, I'm never worried about them biting me. They're just not that type of animal. Um, <laughs> but sometimes you get a little nervous. And with me only having one hand, I can't just walk them hand to hand, let them calm down. I got to just let them jump out of my hand when they want to. Um, but yeah, their enclosures are pretty simple. Uh, they're 18, 18 by 24s. Uh, I try to house 1.2 together. Um, tons of cork bark. There's even more cork bark piled up in the back there. And I try to give them all, all of them their own space, even within the tank, um, just so they can get away from each other whenever they're feeling annoyed. Uh, space is very important for gargoyle geckos. They can be a little bit more aggressive than crested geckos, but as you see, you set them up right, they'll never fight. These, these, this trio has been housed together for five or six years and never once hurt each other. And and they breed every season like clockwork. Another thing to consider, too, is uh, these gargoyle tanks I, I have filled with fake plants. Um, these guys are very, very heavy body geckos. Uh, most live plants you put in here, they'll end up trampling before they get established. Um, you might be able to put in some really thick, leafy plants like pothos or umbrella plants. Get them established before you house your geckos in there, and they might do well. Uh, I find most of the time they just trample all the live plants, and there's no point in putting live plants in here. Um, I only mist them down once heavily every night. So before it lights out, I'll give them a really heavy misting, get those droplets all over the glass for them to drink. Uh, I only feed them every three to four days. Uh, the babies I feed a little bit more often, but the adults only, only need to be fed every three or four days. Uh, I do feed them Pangea MRP, um, which is a really good source of nutrition for them. I used to feed nothing but Rapashi. But since Rapashi uh, changed the recipe, I think it was last year, um, it's just not as good in my opinion. Um, I have a hard time growing babies on it. Uh, wherever they're sourcing their protein from now and stuff like that, it's just not a good source. Um, all my babies stay, used to stay super lanky eating that. Um, so I always recommend Pangea. 
Uh, another thing to consider is uh, insects. So none of the adults I feed insects to. Um, I find if you feed them insects with the MRP, they'll just become too obese. And if you have an obese male, uh, he won't lock the females. You want to keep your males healthy, but not super obese. The females don't matter quite as much. Um, honestly, the fatter the female, the better. But when it comes to your males, if your males are too obese to breed, they won't breed. And then as I raise the babies, like I said, I, I, I give them crickets as occasional snack uh, about once a week um, just to keep them growing and keep them healthy but this is one of my uh, three groups of gargoyles and I'll do videos on all three of them but thank you for watching bye